Hey guys, I'm Thaddeus Wright, and I'm a Pokemon card collector and a game enthusiast. So I play Pokemon the card game online a bunch, and my brother sent me a bunch of code cards and wants me to open them. So I'm going to record it, I'm going to post it, and I uh, hope you all enjoy. It's a pretty good one. So the packs we're opening tonight are online packs. My brother sent me 60 code cards, and I'm going to go through them and open them, and then hopefully put some decks together. Make another video on that, see how I go playing them and having some fun. Alright, so let's just go through them in the order that they're in, see what we got here. We got eight champions path to start. Uh, not a set I've got a lot for myself. I can't just just can't get my hands on them around here, but uh, I'm excited to see what I get. Oh, Dreadnor V. Cool, cool, cool. Always a good start. Uh, it is so much faster doing this than, than opening real packs. It's a bit of fun. I'll tell you what, I've gotten really into the game. Oh, Gardevoir VMAX. That's good. I really, I'm, I'm going to be uh, looking up some deck lists and putting some stuff together after this. Senna Scorch and Scrafty. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the music, it's... uh. It's on an external drive because I don't have room and it just uh, cuts in and out from time to time. Okay. I've seen this Altaria in uh, stall decks. Yeah, should be uh, should be fun. Hopefully I get a few of those. I mean, that's such a common card from what I've seen in normal pack openings. Hopefully I'll get enough to uh, put something together. Glaring Ops to Goon. Team Yell Grunt. I'll put an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon into their hands. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that'd be, uh... That'd be good. Alright, the music's running. Audio's running. Cool, cool, cool. I, uh, I was fixing the audio tonight because, uh... Oh, Marnie, of course. Because, uh, I was getting heaps of background noise and I... Finally figured out how to put filters on OBS. Just by watching a YouTube video that I, that I came across. And I tell you what... Just from my tests, it sounds so much better uh, than the video I previously made and just haven't put up because it just sounds like it sounds so terrible. Um, oh, get out! Oh, hold up, hold up. I had to send this. I had to send this through. Uh, I never pull stuff like this in in real life, but this is just that's too good. All right, there you go. I send that to my brother. This is all compliments of him. Uh, <laughs> uh, if only I had that for real, huh? That would be cool. Ah, uh, good times, good times. Rainbow energy can provide colorless energy while in play. This card provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. When you attach this card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, put one damage counter on that Pokemon. Oh. Alright. Ultra Ball. Okay. The reprint. Oh, Incineroar. Alright, alright. Oh, what am I talking about, I think? <laughs> I was still thinking that was Champion's Path, man. Okay, Burning Shadows. I'm digging the tunes, man. That's good. Ah. Uh, interesting. Uh, Scalopede. I don't see anything, uh... Ah. Search your deck for up to four fire energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck, your turn ends. Huh. Is that still in standard? Look into that later. Ah, Celestial Storm. I actually like this set. There's a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza that... I just love, my son pulled it, I ended up uh, swapping him a scooter for it so I could have it back in my collection, man. So I love it so much. Okay, Mr. Mime GX. <laughs> Such a creep. Alrighty. Uh, we're nearly through the, uh, the random packs. Seem to get into... Uh, seem to get into the... 
the vivid voltage and the darkness ablaze, which is probably the ones I'm most excited about as far as at least these online packs. Um, a lot of a lot of decks that I've been watching seem to have uh, these modern ones recently. This Pokemon attacks. This Pokemon's attack does 80 more damage to your opponent's Grass Pokemon. A Grass Pokemon that's more effective against other Grass Pokemon. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll grab a drink of water. What do we got? Out up. One and Crawdon. Ah, nice. Oh, <laughs> that's a high energy cut, but you know, it's very disruptive. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, my hair's bugging me. All right, I think we'll go uh, Vivid Voltage first, and we'll finish up on the 29 Darkness Ablaze, which is pretty damn good. Uh, yeah. I got a bunch of vivid voltage to open in real openings. Uh, looking forward to doing that soon. Now that I got my sound working better, I got some music cranking, and it's, I'm feeling a bit more confident. All right, Cario, Nessa. Ah, oh, put up to four in any combination of. Water Pokemon and Water Energy cards in from your discard pile into your hand. Ah, that's pretty, pretty handy. Okay. Go go it again. Not as, not as good as the other one we're looking at. Aegis slash V. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Music still cranking. Tornadus. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Eh, don't love it. All basic Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's, take 20 less damage from attacks from the opponent's Pokemon. Okay, so what they... That blocks... Like your opponent's Pokemon from damaging themselves. Huh. Huh, that's. That's unusual. I mean, it, it obviously has its uses. Uh, wash energy. As long as this card's attached to a Pokemon, it provides water energy. Prevent all the tech. All effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to the water Pokemon. This card is attached to. Okay, so can't confuse poison, all that stuff. Alright, alright. Regirock. And. Cholteon. Ah, oh, so. If this Pokemon has a memory capsule attached, water Pokemon in play, both yours and opponent yours and your opponents have no abilities. Uh, I mean that's fairly situational I guess, but it could work. I mean Inteleon's been getting a bit of attention recently, I think. No, water decks, frost moth, oh uh, Cramorant, another one. Okay, yeah, I think we're back. Uh, this laptop doesn't seem to be handling it very well. Uh, so we'll keep trying, I'll keep checking on it. I think the uh, music cutting in and out, when it does that is a good indication that I need to check it. Okay, so this same thing as Jolteon, it blocks uh, fire Pokemon having abilities. So it's blocking what it's strong against. 
is giving it even more power over fire Pokemon. Ah, uh, yeah, coating energy is a good one. Oh, Galarian Obstagoon. <laughs> oh, mate, that's great. That's yeah, so good. Yeah, okay, well. Good, good, good. Uh, let's hope that stops. I'm going to have to figure out my setup a bit better if that's going to keep happening. Shift tree. As long as this Pokemon is active spot. Each supporter card in your opponent's hand has the effect. Draw three cards. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. It could be fun. Another Vaporeon. Alright, what do we got next? Ah, Sableye. Those Sableye V-Dex are really annoying to play against. I'm going to be trying to make one if I can get my hands on a few Sableye. Uh, Fortress as well. Pretty tanky. Alright, alright. There's still a... Churning through the Vivid Voltage. Ah, uh, for SV, Dazzling Blast, your opponent's active Pokemon's confused. Damaging Spark. This attack also does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's solid spreading. Nice. That's a pretty big 30 per Pokemon, I guess. If you chuck this on it as well, it hits the V's and GX's better, huh? An extra 30, telescopic sight, it's a good one. Ah. wonder if that one was... Uh, might be worth a look, I'll see what I can uh, think up. I've never made my own, designed my own deck, I've literally only been playing like theme decks and ADP. But I've just fallen in love with it, man. I just, I just love playing. Play, play a little bit every day at least when I find the time. Play a couple of games. Uh, definitely, definitely been watching a lot of videos. Tricky Jim and Zapdos TCG. These guys and yeah, this um, Omnipoke are just crazy, and they show you so many good decks, and I just don't have the cards for it. So that's that's what I'm working on here, you know. Oh, cool. So we're done with the voltage. I got uh, 29 packs of Darkness Ablaze, and I'm super keen with this one, and hoping that we can just come up with something amazing. Just just enough cards to make a couple of fun decks, you know? Definitely want the uh, Decidueye. Decidueye deck would be a lot of fun. Uh, watched a few videos on that one. Uh, and Mad Party. Mad Party. Oh... That's a pain to play against as well. I really just, I couldn't. Oh, had some rough games in that. <laughs> uh, and this is where all the Mad Party Pokemon are at, huh? As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Darkness Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. As often as you like. Wow. That's pretty powerful. Uh, nah, I'm not a... <clears throat> what else do we have? Powerful colorless. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. The attack of the colorless Pokemon. This card is attached to do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Huh. We've got a colorless deck, I wonder what that's like. Oh, Wassy from PTCG Radio voted this worst card of 2020. So there's just nothing, nothing to it. It's just trash. About 23 left, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. party. Once during it, each player's turn, they may draw cards until they have three cards in their hand. 
Alright. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, one decidueye. That's a good start. Okay. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by V's and Pokemon GX. That's... It's pretty intense. It, it, it's really hard to deal with. So I just need a bunch more of those. And the pre-evolutions and... Then I'll find some deck lists. I'll put that one together for sure if I get a chance. Hooper. If this Pokemon didn't move from the bench to the active spot this turn, this attack does nothing. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness. Okay. Alright, where we are. Mellow tick. Very pretty. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. Oh, great support. Far out. Interesting. Mail metal. Attach an energy card from you. Attach an energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Uh, stage one though. It's uh. Well, he's a rally. It's another one to go towards. Kabu, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If your active Pokemon is your only Pokemon in play, draw eight cards instead. Tell you what, I could have used that a couple of times this week. Toxapex. Discard an energy from this Pokemon and heal all damage from it. Or poison. A poison whip, you can poison them as well. That's, that's interesting. Blaziken, as long as this Pokemon is in play... It is fire and fighting type. Okay. Does that give it two weaknesses? Ah. Uh, nah. It's got weakness on the card. Sorry, I'm thinking. Heat energy. As long as this card is, is attached to a Pokemon, it provides fire energy. The fire Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 20 HP. Tame Flam. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and the damage by a, and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now burnt. Solid. Back to back talent flames, are you kidding me? That's alright. Ah, oh, seventeen to go. Not bad, not bad. Alright. I like to again. Oh Vikavolt. Oh yeah, during your opponent's next turn, they can't play any item cards from their hand. Oh, that's so painful to play against. That is just... Uh... If, you, if you don't have retreat, you just... If you don't have energies for retreat, you're just stuck until you're done, you know? Cool, no. And this play in this... When playing this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put one of your Pokemon, except any Call of Night, and all attached cards into your hand. Hmm. I set up so you can't keep looping it. Smart. Volcarona. Come oh, on, give me more. Give me more Decidueye. I want them. I want them. Pokemon Breed is Nurturing? Okay. It's pretty. I feel like, well, I'm not a big fan of the fancy ones on the online. I mean, it's... You can trade them for, like, other cards and packs and stuff, but... My main concern isn't to make my decks look pretty. I mean, I want to get good first. <laughs> and then I'll make my decks look pretty. Not had a lot of uh, a lot of big pulls out of here. Like, out of the darkness of blaze has probably been the uh, lowest pull rates, I reckon. Not seen anything uh, of great interest in the past few packs. 
More mad party. Another Hooper. Oh, Eternatus VMAX. Damn. I spoke you into existence, buddy. Saying I wasn't getting much. There we go. Seven, seven left. Seven packs left. Oh, Diggersby. Uh, I really wanted a uh, enough to get to a, to do a decidual deck, but I might it just might not be happening today. Might have to trade some some of the fancy cards I got that I'm not going to use. First, I got to figure out what's available to me, what decks I can make. Yeah. Oh, it's been a good opening. Still got some pretty cool stuff. I mean, you can't complain about. Oh, Solomon's V Max too. Very cool. Very cool. Can't complain about no. that uh, Champion's Path Zard, even if it is just... Oh, this is one of my favorites, man. That's a great one. Pretty happy. Uh, Sinister. Got to get the uh, evolution for Mad Party. Oh. That would be fun to play Mad Party, not the most fun to play against. Though it does feel good to beat them. Kangaskhan. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon during their last turn, this attack does 90 more damage. 120 for two colorless. All right, that looks to be that. Well, I had fun. Got some good stuff. Uh, I'm going to see what I can make. And uh, I might film that and put it together for you guys as well. All right. Have a good night.